Hey everyone, Tom here, and uh, welcome to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Now this isn't any old Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I just think it's going to so I can talk to you guys. This is the PlayStation 1 version of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So I <coughs> One, I apologise for that cough. And two, I apologise for the shocking graphics that you're seeing in this demo mode version. I do apologise if, you know, I uh, talk a bit fast. But I hope you guys do enjoy this first episode of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on the PlayStation 1. If you do, please do leave it down in the comment section below. That would be much appreciated. And if you do enjoy, if you would like to do that, I just want to say, if you would like to hit that like button, you can. It does It's much appreciated. And if you would like to subscribe for new Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone videos every, hmm, let's say Monday, and Thursday. Yeah? Okay. So let's jump straight into this and start playing. Right. So I'm playing on the PlayStation 1. Um, so I still check my memory card and stuff. So I'm going to start a new game. So I have played this obviously before. But I mean, I'm going to start a new game. So you do wonder, I'm, I'm recording this in 720p, 30 frames per second. But I'm not 100 percent sure what it plays, so yeah. So you guys do enjoy. Sorry about the graphics and stuff, but it should be okay. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant named Hagrid left a blanket wrap bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys, until that fateful day when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from platform nine and three quarters and left the muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath a sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? Said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Alright. So I'm not really sure how this game works, but I, when, I, when it starts telling me stuff, or you guys stuff, I would, I'll just stop talking. Right now. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer the most painful death. Hmm. Right. So it's quite weird how this game controls. I'm guessing these are like locked rooms. And... Right, right, right. Nitwit, blubber, oddment. Weak four wonderful words, don't you think? Mm hmm, a bit random to be fair. Right. Go to the portrait room. Sort of a portrait. Well, now it's nice to see a new face and a Gryffindor, too. Good for you. I can't remember. 
remember the last time I opened up. I'm a bit rusty, you see. I'm not sure I still can. However, if you can find out the correct password, I'll give it a go. Off you go, then. But be careful. There are some odd creatures about. Mm, thanks for the portrait. Um, this back to the Grey Hall dump in Azad. Let's, let's go upstairs. Left, right, left, right, left. That goes locked. Where's that one? Hmm. That's the only door that's open. Ah, Hoggy Watty Hogwarts. Oh, wonderful place to explore. Hmm. Take broom covered. Okay, good. Great hall. Let's go back in here to the portrait room. There might be something in here that I didn't really look at. No, it seems like a pretty empty room. Let's talk to this guy again. It seems like this talk to him. Although he may have just told me stuff. Good game, but like, you're gonna have to give me more stuff than. Oh, this door's open. Let's go to the Gryffindor Tower. Why didn't I see that before? So, I think that door there is open. So, let's go this way. So, it's obviously silver. By the look of that scar, yeah. you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits, and behind these special portraits are prizes. But of course, not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavour beans, we'll tell you the password. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. Hmm, so... See you around, Harry. So that's how to get the stuff. Not stuff, I'm not about. I don't know where I just went, but that's how you get the. There's a ghost. Oh, no. Hey up. Harry! Remember me? Ron Weasley? That slimy Slytherin Draco Malfoy ran through this door with an owl under his arm. I think it was your owl Hedwig. Let's go after him. Right, let's go get Hedwig. Pretty random game, but you know. I believe these episodes are going to be about 20 minutes, you know, 15 minutes long. So it's probably about 15. Come on, Harry, let's find Hedwig. Actually, well, no. well, well, if it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. Okay. Looking for that owl of yours? How careless of you to leave it lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry. You don't have one, do you? Alright, let's get that out. Let's get Hedwig back. He's a nasty piece of work. But just ignore him. Us Gryffindor should stick together. You gonna find that? <laughs> okay. Whoa. Come on, Harry. Follow me. To climb up, just push forwards on your controller. Right, let's push forwards on his controller. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Chill. Huh. To be fair, for a PS1 game, it's pretty good. Follow me. Mm. To jump, just approach the edge and keep pressing forwards on the controller. Okay, so it's like a tutorial sort of thing. Huh. Uh. Huh. Uh. Look, there's another feather. I'll double back and watch the entrance. You better go on and rescue Hedwig. Nick and I am the Gryffindor House Ghost. Thanks. 
<laughs> Look how tall this one is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. Nice. If you want to look around, press your triangle button. Press the triangle button again when you've finished. My head's full now. That's kind of cool. Come on. Two other games to right there. Right, so let's actually get up there. Hogwarts to have this sort of stuff. But. Is there something secret up here? That's actually in one of the actual sort of films. Ah, uh, some snails have escaped from the care of magical creatures class. Careful, they're dreadfully poisonous. Thanks, Harry. Press the cross button to cast the Flipendo knockback chinks from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. Sorry, Harry, sorry. And watch out for those poisonous snail trails. Right. <laughs> I'm touching it. Two and R2 buttons to rotate the game camera. This one? Yeah. I keep thinking of Right. Let's get through the door. Sorry, I just like change that something completely. You know, I finished this mission and I press the triangle button to view your surroundings. You can also cast a Flipendo knockback jinx from this view. See what you can find to Flipendo in this room. What's a Flipendo? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ah. Right, so you're towards here, let's now uh, nearly head for Hello again. Did you notice that those poisonous snails twinkle? <laughs> Things that twinkle can be affected by a Flipendo knockback jinx. Okay. This is a jinx block. Your Flipendo knockback jinx will move it aside. To move the jinx block, cast a flipendo at it. Right. Let's do this. Right. Right, so that's in the right place. Right, let's get up there. like this one needs a charged flipendo knockback jinx to move it to cast a charged knockback jinx hold down the cross button to build up the spell before releasing it okay right. so let's do that oh he says as well Conveniently placed cupboards. Hmm. 
not inverted as well. Hmm. <laughs> right, you see this door. Oh, never long bottom. Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. No, never. I've lost my wand, so I can't have the books out of the way with Flipendo. Use the R1 button to point your wand at the flying books, then use your cross button to cast. Right. Somewhere. Is he going? There! I found it! Right. Where's his wand? So we find Neville, we found Ron. But Ron's gone back. Right. Hedwig! Her head looks just fine. Oh, I like Harry Potter. <laughs> Charge Flipendo nut breachings might free Hedwig from those bars. Keep the cross button held down to cast one. Okay, thanks, Neville. through the door, wasn't it? Oh, there won't be trying this, by the way. Ah! I see you rescued Hedwig! She was eager to get out, so I opened the door for her. That'll teach Malfoy to mess with us. Hi, I'm Neville. I'm in Gryffindor too. Harry helped me escape from some flapping books. Nice to meet you, Neville. Come on down. Uh, it's all right. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my toe, Trevor. Come on, Harry, let's go. <sighs> Always losing his toe. <laughs> okay guys so in the next video I'm going to show you guys the flying lesson so I'm going to follow Ron as I outro the video so I hope you guys here's the doorway to the flying lesson watch yourself Harry I hear Madam Hooch is really strict I'm still nice waiting one. for my broomstick our stupid owl is ancient it's going to take forever I'll wait for you here alright so we're going to do this lesson obviously so I'll outro it after the Brimson lesson. <laughs> okay. Right. I am Madam Hooch, your teacher. There is a house point bonus if you excel at any of the following tasks. Steer your broomstick using the directional buttons and press the cross button to move forwards. First, fly through each hoop that appears in sequence. On my whistle then. Points if you succeed. 
Fly through each magic hoop that appears. Remember, slow down to turn tighter. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Three, two, one. points for that fine performance ready for a one. tougher challenge Not there me. are bonus house no. points for a perfect score okay, as before fly through each of the magic hoops concentrate now on my whistle three two one Potter, a good score. Five more house points for Gryffindor. You have mastered the basics of broomstick control. Now run along. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to end the video here. So I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on the, X on the Xbox, on the PlayStation. Hi, room. Harry. No, I am not. Okay. Hello, Harry. Charms class is about to start. Isn't it exciting? No. She's rather annoying, isn't she? Bye, Hermione. Right, as I was rudely interrupted then by Hermione. Alright, sports ball, go now. Alright, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm going to go collect these uh, beans here. So uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, as I said, like five seconds ago. But I was rudely interrupted by uh, Hermione. So if you did like this video, please leave it down in the comments section oh, below. No. Oh. <laughs> right. I can't get a moment to speak. Peace. Peace. Right. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave it down in the comments section below. And I'll do more. The videos will be up every Tuesday and Thursday. So stay tuned. Subscribe and put that little bell button sort of thing to be notified when I do upload. I have a series on Assassin's Creed. I really need to remember this. Uh, something in China every Saturday and Wednesday. So stay tuned to that too. Hope you guys did enjoy this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.